Sport Fishing Adventures with your host, NHL star Brendan Morrison and Grey Cup winner Chris Burns. Sport Fishing Adventures is brought to you by Toyota, Berkeley, Fenwick, Yamaha, and Gibbs Delta. All right, so let me ask you, of the two of you, who's the underdog on the open waters when you got the hooks in the water? Oh, I mean, <laughs> you know what? Brendan will tell you that that he's the guy, that he's, you know, Mr. Fisherman. And I just, I keep my mouth shut and just, I, you know, I kick his butt. But we're going to find out pretty soon, aren't we, Mo? Vern, he's, he's kind of, fishing is a little bit of finesse, eh? and, but he's got hands like feet, so I don't know. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Says you know, the I'm hockey kinda, guy. Big, big lineman there, you know, he doesn't really have the ball too much, so he's just all power and, oh, you know, nice a little bit of finesse is involved in this game. But, like, I know there's a big fight this weekend, like Manny Pacquiao and uh, Bradley, but, you know, we got, there's a heavyweight tilt on the water <laughs> come, come Monday, you know. <laughs> Might have to pay per view this one. Me and Burns, you going head-to-head -head sturgeon fishing. We got a fish here. We got a fish here. That is what nice it's buddy. all about. That's nice, man. That nice was fish. awesome. Yeah, beautiful, nice, big Fraser River sturgeon. Welcome to Sport Fishing Adventures. I'm your host, Chris Burns. Brandon Morrison. What the? It, I'm, I'm your host, Chris Burns. Burnsy, this is the day we've been waiting for. Today, it's all about me and team. <laughs> it's about... There's no I in team. There's no there I in team. <laughs> there's a me in team. Yeah. And today, that's, that's what it's about. Bragging rights on the line. All right, well, you do have kind of a home field advantage here. Tell us about where we're at and what we're going to do. Well, we're going to be fishing today for uh, the largest freshwater species fish in the world, the white sturgeon. And One we that are looks in... like uh, Stan the sturgeon over here. Stan, Stan the sturgeon cooperates. It'll be a great day. We're here at Mission BC real close to where I grew up in Pitt Meadows and uh, waters that I grew up fishing in with, uh, with our host or host on the water, Walt Corius from Crazy Canuck. And uh, phenomenal day, that's what the fish cooperate. Well now, I haven't fished with Walt before, but I have done a couple of shows out in the area doing some sturgeon fishing, so it's not new to me. I might have a, I might be a challenge for you. Today. So I can't actually call you a rookie. I'm not a rookie. No, I'm, I'm not rookie. a rookie. So two, Veterans are going at it today on the water, sturgeon fishing. Okay, here's the deal. This episode's all about competition. Brennan and I have been waiting to do this for a long time. We've been talking a little smack back and forth. It's going to be fun. Straight up biggest fish, right? Straight up biggest fish, head to head. Nice little shot of them me on the beach with that fish. Yeah, okay, I'll let you take a picture with my fish. <laughs> all right, we got three rods. We're gonna pick a side. We're gonna alternate on the first rod. I'm a little nervous about this. We have yet to see the stakes. We do not know what it is. I got them right here. Okay. Anyway. The loser <laughs> will spend time around Mission dressed as one of its favorite residents, the Sasquatch. <laughs> Don't you have some experience? I do have a Wookiee suit. <laughs> is, it, is it gonna fit me? <laughs> it might. Oh wow. It might be a tight fit, but we'll get you in there. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, so the stakes have been red. Do we have a deal? We have a deal. Let the All best right, fisherman buddy. win. Best fisherman win. <laughs> Good luck to you, Brindy. Thanks. This is my rod, bud. Go ahead and pick that middle one up. Man, what's going on? I thought they were wrapped together, but I don't think they are. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh, Bernsey? Drill him. Oh, he's on, Bernsey. Bernsey's on the board. Bernsey's hooked up. That was a good hook set there, Bernsey. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, look like you've done this before. I have. We almost had a double header, boys. Almost, yeah, almost. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Hey, he's done. That's all right. It was just a warm up, just a warm up there. He, like, he's been you telling really me. You are eh? pulling for Morrison, aren't you? <laughs> I know uh, his first, uh, all his episodes last year, he was telling me how he never lost the fish. <laughs> that is something I would never tell you. <laughs> 
I know there's a lot of uh, pressure you, here. You don't have me. to fish with me a lot a to lot know that that would be a lie. <laughs> uh, Sticky sharp. Too bad. That's crazy too, the, that uh, bait's still totally intact. Yeah, it's still in good shape, eh? Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Adventures. The destination, Mission. Mission lies 70 kilometers east of Vancouver, nestled on a coastal mountain slope overlooking the mighty Fraser River. This rapidly growing center is also a hot spot to launch your boat for a day chasing sturgeon on the Fraser. Mission. You know what I like these things, I'll tell you. As soon as you get this close to the rod, they can feel you. Especially when you got a couple of bony knees like that knocking together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drill them. Okay. Drill them. Next time I'm dead. Oh, there's that hesitation. I think you got him anyway. Well, I got him anyway. That was He's got horrible. him anyway. <laughs> Sometimes it's just meant to be, you know. Fish on. You got him. Where's the end one there? I got that. We got a fish here. We got a fish here. Fairly good. It's not a two footer, that's nice. for sure. Nice. Watch the line. If it comes up fast, you know he's going to jump. Come on, fish. There you go. So we're into a fish here. Beautiful day. Mission BC. It's a beautiful I mean, thing. Who would, who would think that you could fight fish like this? So close to a major city, it's, hey? It's amazing. No one said he wins the race. Yeah, well, it's, uh, there's no choice between uh, fast and slow. These guys set the pace. Yeah, they're kind of the boss, these fish. They sure are. So Bernsey, probably getting a little tired there, a little lethargic. You might need a little pick-me-up. You need a caffeine oh. or something, maybe? Oh. <laughs> a little coffee? You think I need a coffee? Get my heart Where, rate up a little higher? Which one would be yours? Is there a certain drink I should be looking for? Two cups. <laughs> Two cups? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, it's not your jock size. No. Two cups. Two cups. What is, with, what is with the two cups here? But it actually started in games. Yeah, how'd that on start? On the sidelines, like, you know, you play offensive line, your hands get beat up, right? Yeah. And, you know, you're big guys and you're, you know, like, you know, your adrenaline's pumping, kind of like now. And I would grab the Gatorade cups and they sometimes they sit for a while. Yeah. You know, the water Gatorade cups and they get soggy. So I was always grabbing cups. Look at this thing. Jeez. <laughs> Good fish. So I'd grab a cup Holy. and it would just like, I'd end up squeezing it and squashing the thing in my hand. So I started using two cups all the time. And so the trainers would always set out a row of cups for me that had, that were double cups. Double cups. And so now the folks at my local coffee shop see me coming and they. And they have now dubbed you two cups. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes two cups. Yeah. I figure if that's the weirdest thing about me, Mo, that's, you know. It is, it is kind of a goalie-like, yes. Goalie-like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, here's a question for you. What's the weirdest ritual you've ever seen? I've seen some guys that will go in and like literally throw up before every yeah, game. Yeah, oh, I've seen that, yeah, for sure. Um, but you know, I, the Sedin brothers, I could never figure out they would always, they always go and sit in the hot tub before the game. Like, and I, for me, like, I think sit in the hot tub, you're like draining, tired. They say, no, get warm up. Let's yeah. get your muscles going. So I, to me, that to me, that was a weird one. I don't know for yeah. you. I'd often do that. One that kind of stands out when I played with Brent Sopel, right? Yeah, great hair. Great lid, yep. And Soapy, it was almost like this uh, comedic relief when he would sit there before the game and it was almost like we we're just getting ready to go out and it's almost like somebody possessed his body <laughs> and he started like talking to himself like yeah. gibberish and he would start like thrashing his head from side to side like it was almost like an exorcism right in the dressing room <laughs> and it was classic he just it becomes a habit right when you're doing it all the time for sure and you play i mean god how many games did you play Oh, 930 something. <laughs> See, I played like 200 and something, and that's a long football career. Yeah. Long. 
900 games. But it's funny, people always say, well, how do, how do you play that many games in a row? I think it's pretty simple. You like, just play. <laughs> I said, no. Well, first of all, you don't go in corners. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna, you have line mates that do that for yeah. you. And you don't go in front you of play the net. With Bertuzzi. <laughs> exactly. Pretty simple formula. I'll tell you, that's the thing that scares me. And, you know, I played like some pickup hockey. You never really played growing up or anything. The puck, I'm afraid of the puck. Like, I will run into people, I'll go smash heads and, you know, I've broken fingers and dislocated shoulders and my neck is a mess, concussions, all that. I'm afraid of that puck, man. I don't want that thing hitting me. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> well, every single guy can shoot it now. Yeah. You know, like every guy, like, you know, when you first started playing, you'd be like, okay, man, like, okay, Al McKinnis, he can shoot it, or yeah. Al, I'm afraid of these don't guys can shoot way. it. But nowadays, every single guy can shoot it. Yeah. There he is. Decent fish. Yeah, he's a five. Just a beauty. Yeah, that's a nice fish. I mean, he's actually close to six, this guy. Five and a half, five ten. Just an amazing animal. Six feet, two inches. Perfect. Six two, Burnsy. All right. You got him all? He was actually a beecher. But are we okay with that, Burns? I want to try and... Oh, yeah. Here, Burnsy, come and see him. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got it. That's beautiful. <laughs> Hey. It's a nice wow. fish. A little younger, huh? His, okay. his, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him go. All right, buddy, thanks. Thanks, nice, buddy. Cool. Six, cool. two. About an inch shorter than me. Well, he was probably about 110 pounds. I can eat an apple off that fish's head. That is nice, what it's buddy. all about. That's nice, awesome. man. That nice was fish. awesome. Sweet. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Adventures. Early morning, day two. Uh, I have a well, I have a slim lead. I'd like to say I have a big lead, but I'm in a hole here. I feel a lot of pressure right now. There's been rumors circulating that you've been trash talking me over the course of the season. My what are you ability. About? I would never. I would never question your ability as an angler. You know, you're not exactly the smallest hockey guy ever. It's true. You're not exactly Brendan Morrison over there. <laughs> so you know, you're probably gonna be a little better on the rods than uh, than our buddy Morrison. Yeah, why is that? Well, you know, you know, uh, you know how to get to a corner, <laughs> and you know Morrison can't get to the rod because usually they're in the corners of the boat. So you're telling me you don't believe everything I hear? Def. Well, you know, okay. you know not to believe okay. what you hear, I, even okay. if you, even if you hear it directly. Okay, I'll trust you on that. I'll trust you. <laughs> it is. Uh, I got a fishy feel here. The home waters. It's good synergies going right now. So yeah. uh, let's go get a big one. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's off. No, he's there. He's there. Real, yeah, real, he's real. there. Gotta get this line. We got him. I don't think he's a big. I don't think he's the derby winner or the the competition winner with Burns. Unless he just hasn't woke up yet. Well, that's what I'm kind of a little bit leery of because you got a pretty good bend in that rod. Well, we got we got something on here. Well, guys. Yeah, we're gaining line. Starting to pull you a little well, bit. He's pull, he's, he took a good run there. like. It was deceptive because when I first hooked him, I didn't think he was that big and he came right to the boat and we didn't get a look at him. And then he decided to wake up. He realized he was hooked and he just hooked and he just took off. What do you think, Mo? A good fish or what? Uh, he seems decent. He's bigger than I thought he was. Well, you said two footer to begin with. Surely he's bigger than that. <laughs> no, I didn't say two footer. I said, I don't <laughs> think he's the derby winner, but yeah, then yeah. I cracked it and said the competition winner because burnsy has got a nice fish right now. And now he just said, oh, I'm going to take all the line back yeah. that you just gained on me. How you doing? Look at that. <laughs> That's a thing of beauty right there. Pump that thing. Get a little blood flow oh in God. there. Holy cold dying. Cold fingers and... Uh, cold fingers and... Tight grip. Yeah, no kidding. That doesn't look healthy, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel too healthy I right now, but... Oh, oh yeah. Got some bubbles. You didn't see the fish? No, just bubbles. Just Oh, is he actually foul hooked or is he wrapped? Well, it's just the luck of the draw here. I mean, we yeah. had bites, bites. I went to set the hook on this fish and we looked like we... Well, and one of the things that, you know, that can happen is the fish can can bite it and then spit it out and it'll get caught. Yeah. It'll get caught in one of his fins. But that's, you know, that that's the only thing I can explain. Yeah. You know, when you're fishing row, yeah, this is another seven foot Here's fish. Give me See the you, Bobby. Oh, he's gone. 
What do you do? That's fishing. Yeah. But you know, he's yeah, a healthy, we he's healthy fish. We had a quick release on him. That's one of those things too, like these guys, you know, that fish is like, you know, like a little, little nick to them. You know, oh they're God, just, yeah, that they're does, so doesn't tough. harm them at all. Yeah. Not in the least. Yeah. You know, they're, pff, he'll go back down the bottom, sulk for a while, and he'll be looking for food again in a half an hour from now. All right, Mo, so we're, we're wrapping up season two of sport fishing adventures. What was a big highlight for you this year? It's really tough to pinpoint something. I mean, yeah. every lodge offers something unique. Like actually this year for the first time I ever got to go fish in Saskatchewan. Yeah. Right. Chase Pike. I was a little jealous of that, that yeah. you got to go do that one. I was, uh, that was a fun trip, you know, up northern Saskatchewan there, fished on a lake that had been catch and released for the last 15 years. Wow. So the numbers were incredible. Yeah. They, like I think we had 60 something fish a piece wow. in three days. So wow. yeah. nice. how about you? I think the, the trip that sticks out in my mind probably was um, up at Port Renfrew with, oh, yeah. uh, with Terry David Mulligan. He's a pretty interesting character. Yeah. We had an awful lot of fun. We talked about food. We talked about wine. We had a great competition too. The whole, the weekend was just back and forth. You know, he caught a couple of nice big fish early. Then he started losing a couple. And then I came back in the end and, uh, and ended up beating him in our, in our competition with a couple of nice big fish. Competitive, kind of like, um, I'm being today. <laughs> Our competition's working out pretty well for me so far. I don't so know. Far, so far, you're in the driver's seat here, yeah. but we uh, we still have time. We got lots of time. We have time. And I know that, uh, you know, I know that Walt wants to make sure you get at least gets. You know, he wants to get his little buddy a fish. Well, Walt finally moved away from a secret spot. <laughs> you know about that? It's so the secret. Secret spot. Yeah, so secret, the fish don't even know it's there. That one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It was. It's been a season full of of real good times, uh, caught lots of fish, been to, you know, I know, you know, one of the greatest things is just going to some of these places. Yeah, exactly. And You're exactly right. It's the destination, right? It's the lodge. Yeah. It's the adventure. It is the adventure. That's why we call it Sport Fishing Adventure. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Adventures. All right, Brandon, let's talk a little bit about gear. Uh, this is the reel that I'm kicking your butt with out there. One that we're both very familiar with, the Penn International V. Love this, we use it for all our big game stuff. It's made by Penn in Pennsylvania, and we've got it today on a real special rod, one that uh, Walt builds custom for sturgeon. Yeah. Uh, I know you've, you've used these a bunch. Yeah, beautiful rod. Uh, we've paired this great setup with uh, the Spider Wire Stealth Braid Line, 100 pound test with uh, 80 pound leader. But the great thing about using this, uh, this braided line is sensitivity. You know, yeah. anybody who has fished sturgeon or you plan on fishing sturgeon, very, very sensitive mouths, okay? When they pick up that bait, you want to be able to see that bite, you know, transferred to the rod tip. So this line helps that a lot. And uh, Sensitive and super tough too, and we're putting it to the test, aren't we? Strong, tough. I mean, you know, I mean there's situations where you get hiccups out there, snags, etc. but I mean, the capability to fight you know, we're talking four, five, six hundred pound fish if the situation arises. All right, well, let's get back in the boat and see if we can find a big one. Let's do this. Burns, you just got into one? Yep. Just about to shut it down. We were in the 11th hour there. We talked about it going into the shootout, overtime, whatever you want to call it. But we were walking up to pick up the rods out of the holder. Chris's rod had a bite. A good bite, he set the hook. Now we're into our, our last fish here. I was literally rod. reaching for the rod yeah. to like yeah. to pick it up and reel it in to go home. So uh, Brendan, yeah. what size uh, Sasquatch suit should we tell the tailor to rig up for you? Extra medium? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Sasquatch's son has a suit, I can probably, <laughs> probably borrow that one. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. Oh, God. There oh, we go. Oh, very nice fish. Six footer. Saw him there. Six footer. Not as big oh, as we thought he big was. Big fat still a good fish. Looks like. He's thick. Oh, yeah. What do we got? He's about a five and a half, Walt, maybe. I'm going to turn this around and we'll get him down the beach, all right? Okay. Well, walking up to the rod to pull it out of the holder to call it a day, and boom. Fish hits, and... Unbelievable. Yeah. Great fight. Great fight. Beautiful fish. And 
and uh, you know, hopefully we will. We're just we're just kind of getting it into shore right now, so we can release this fish safely and kind of show the viewers what this river has to offer. Yeah, beautiful, nice, big Fraser River sturgeon. Beautiful fish, and yeah. uh, you know, as we've seen from your fish yesterday, a couple other ones that yeah. didn't work out. I mean, these this is probably an average size uh, fish. Well, this be about average, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, fat fish for this time of year, very healthy fish, but just a gorgeous fish. Look at the colorings. You know, look at the, the sensors on the side of this fish here. This is how these fish see. I mean, the eyes are so small, right? So they're, they're basically blind. I mean, relying on- They kind of uh, just feel their way through, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's release that guy. All right, buddy, let's get- You got him? Yeah. And he'll go just right around the six foot mark. Nice fish, about 100 pounds. There he goes. Say goodbye. See you, buddy. Thank you. He's going to swim over and say hi to Walt on his way out. Yeah. Fish, yes, check it good in. way to end the trip, hey, eh? Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. Great way to end the season. Thanks a lot, Walt. Appreciate Took it. a while, but we got hey, it. That was great. It was Thanks, great. Paul. Yeah, Thank it was you. a lot of fun, as always. All right. Well, hey, let's get back, uh, back to the dock and see if we can't find a Sasquatch suit. <laughs> Looking forward to that. <laughs> All right, Brendan, so we had a great time out here on the Fraser River fishing for sturgeon with Walt. Saw lots of big fish. Yeah. Uh, I caught yeah. some big fish. You did. Yeah, I was literally reaching for the rod to, to bring it in to go home, and, uh, and we ended up landing a nice big, probably a six-foot fish. But you know what? It's been a, it was a great time out here. It's been a great season. Uh, I know you had a great time this year, too. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, thank you to all the, the lodges, the guides, and especially our guests yeah. for coming out. And making this uh, a memorable season on the water. But uh, right now, <laughs> well, I, I have something to present to you. <laughs> yeah. Your Sasquatch suit. I'm a man of my word, Bernsey. Yeah. You beat me fair and square. You know, they say even a blind squirrel finds a nut sometimes. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> and hey, oh, wow. you won the bet, buddy. You know, I see I'm that you're, 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 you're talking up, some smack to, <laughs> to uh, cover for your own inferiority. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Let's go scare some citizens. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> you be careful you don't get you don't get hit in this town. Mm-hmm.